Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a review for none other than Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent? Yves Saint Laurent? However it's pronounced, I'm doing a review for them and I'm gonna be reviewing the Yves Saint Laurent, which is the YSL um, credit card holder. So this is the box that it comes in right here, like this. Bring it closer so you guys can see. And it has like the little emblem at the bottom and the name of it. So I'm gonna open it here so you guys can see. So it comes in this little pouch right here. And it has a uh, Saint Laurent on it. So the packaging is pretty cute. Hold on. It has this little card right here also. It says the name of the brand and that it was made in Italy. And then it comes with the price tag for the item as well. But you guys can look it up on any website to find out how much it was. So this is the wallet, I mean, credit card. So my first impressions of the YSL credit card holder, which is this right here, you guys can see it, is it's very small, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's, it's small. Um, it cannot fit a whole lot of stuff, so please do not think that when you get this wallet, you're going to be able to stuff like everything in it. It has about one, two, three, four slots. So there's two in the front, one, two, and when you turn it around, there's two in the back, one, two. And then it has like an opening right here, which I have like, I think two dollars that's in it. Let's see. Yeah, so I had two dollars already that was in my wallet. Um, it can fit like a few dollar bills. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks when I put my Metro card, my credit card, my ID, and some money in it. So you can have an idea of what it will look like and how it's gonna wear. So I did go ahead and I put some money inside. If you could tell, it looks a little bit bulkier now looking at it. Like it kind of looks a little bit fatter and I did put money in it. So if you look, there is money in there. So I'm gonna take it out and show you how much money is inside. So it's about one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's six bills in there. And with six bills, I feel like that's a standard amount. I think you should put no more than like, I wanna say maybe 10 or just seven. You pushing it with 10. But um, a little bit more into the wallet. So. I wanted to introduce myself to um, more luxury items, like I have some other designer um, pieces, but I wanted to do something that was a little bit more high end. So I did go with this YSL credit card wallet to be like my introduction to that. Um, I am a very edgy, kind of like classy, kind of chic, like type of girl if you guys get my drift. So. I kind of like luxury items mixed with a little bit of edginess as well as like it being chic and just like timeless, you know? So I wanted to buy me something because I had graduated from nail school. If you guys don't know, I am a licensed nail tech. So I wanted to give myself something. So I got myself this um, credit card holder and I'm happy with my purchase. Um, I was really excited for this. I love it. Whenever I wear, I feel like instantly elevated, like I feel like I'm this rich black woman living in New York City and I'm just living out my dreams. And I like that this item could do that for you. So what I will say um, about the wallet is, don't expect to fit a whole lot of stuff in it because you are not. Um, it is leather, so it has to stretch over time. It will begin to be a little bit more flexible. When I first got this wallet, it wasn't as easy to put the cards in or the money and I had to kind of like tussle with it. It was hard to get the items out. That was a bit frustrating to me um, as far as being able to utilize, you know, um, the wallet how I wanted to. But other than that, I felt like it was pretty okay. Um, what else can I say about it? I love the sheen that this uh, credit card holder has. It's really pretty, it's not too much, it's subtle, but it still says a lot. It's like a statement piece. And I feel like every girl should have a statement type of wallet or just piece within their collection, simply because it just adds to, it gives your um, bag and it just adds a little bit more flavor and character basically to me. 
Um, I feel like they do have other wallets that are not as expensive that you probably could still get the same type of quality. But I mean, if you are a material girl and you like uh, name brands and luxury brands like this one, then definitely try out the YSL um, credit card holder, see if you like it. And then you can kind of like take baby steps into getting like maybe the um, envelope purse or clutch or getting one of the other items that East St. Laurent uh, provides. So, I mean, my rating for this model would be out of a 10. I'd give it like a, like a, a cool 7.5, just simply because upon getting it and having like to put your cards in it, it's not easy to take the cards out. It is very small. You cannot fit that many singles or dollars in it. And um, it's just really, tiny <laughs> it just looks really nice um and yeah that's why i gave it a 7.5 so i hope you guys enjoyed this review it is a great piece i'm not saying that i don't love it because i do and i wear it as much as i can when i'm going out and just like on my regular daily activities when i'm doing things so it is a great investment i love it and it's a great starter kit to introducing yourself to luxury items so definitely go check it out and i hope you guys like this Please let me know in the comments below if you guys have any items from YSO or what are some of the luxury designer brands that you guys like and would recommend for me to get like a bigger wallet. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for my next video and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.